and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul for you. It's a Mac haul for you all to see. Oh, I'm so super ecstatic to do this haul um, because I've been wanting to do a Mac haul for a while, but I have not gone to the Mac store in a while. So I haven't even gone to the Mac counter. So today, yesterday I went and today I'm filming the video. Um, so like here's the bag. And it's just a normal black Mac bag. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to reach in here. And I don't want to seem like I'm bragging in this video. I didn't get that that much. But I don't want to seem like I'm bragging still. I just really want to show you guys what I got. Because I love doing hauls. Hauls are so much fun videos. I don't know. But um, let's just get started. I'm just going to reach my hand in here. What I pulled out is this... um. MAC bronzer and this is bronzing powder and this is from the To The Beach collection and I've been needing bronzer for such a long time in my recent latest makeup tutorial I um didn't have any more bronzer I said oh my gosh I have to go get myself some bronzer so I was at the MAC store and I'm like oh I might as well just get myself some bronzer here so I got the cut in the color golden from the To The Beach collection I don't know if they have um colors not from the Tula Beach collection like bronze or from the not from like just on the permanent line so if they do comment down below because once I run out of this I don't know what I'm going to get from like them but I might try a different brand you know like I like to try different brands um I, I, I like to try different brands on like bronzer and stuff because all different kind of bronzers make your skin look different so I got this and I kind of the packaging like was so cute but I needed bronzer like I had no more bronzer left um, so look how cute this packaging is. Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Oh. And then this is just the bronzer. It's just like a golden color. Um, and it may, it looks like a, such a great color. Can't wait to try it. Uh, so, can't wait to try it. So it's right there, and then it's right there on my hand. Um, the Too Faced bronzer that I was using was very a darker bronzer. This is more of a light bronzer that's not going to make you super, super bronzed. So um, that's why I got this, because during this winter time, you want a bronzer that's matte and not shimmery, and this was the mattest one that they had. So using shimmery bronzer during the summertime works out because you have, and you want during this winter time for your face to be more matte looking and because it makes your face look more matte during the winter. I don't know. Since fall is going to be here soon, I got this. And even if fall wasn't going to be here, I was going to get this one anyways. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I got, let's just reach my hand in here. Okay, so the next thing I got is this brush. And this is a 188 brush. And I've been wanting this brush for such a long time. I was like, either going to get this one or they have the same exact one with a bigger, like, tippy thingy. You know what I'm saying? It's like a bigger one. But the lady, I said, which one's best for bronzer? Because I was buying the bronzer and I was buying the brush. So I said, which one's best for bronzer? And she said... This one is because the tip is longer and it doesn't get all the bronzer stuck into there. It all stays up at the top, whereas the shorter brush all goes to the bottom. So I wanted to make my face very flawless, and she said this brush made your face very flawless looking, um, so I had to get it. I'm like, so ecstatic to try this brush too, the 188. And this is my first ever um, MAC face brush. I never ever had a MAC face brush before. So this is my first one. So I'll always remember that. Um, but yeah, so look at that tip. It's just white up here and then like um, black down there. And you're supposed to wash this. That's the second thing that I bought. Okay, so the next thing that I got is this um, MAC Studio Moisturizer Tint and um, SPF 15. And this is in medium. And they had, I think, a shade lighter than this. But I wanted to, the lady also said 
to get the shade darker to make your skin bronze. And I said, yeah, that's what I wanted so that I don't have to wear as much bronzer and I could wear, just wear the bronzer as blush. This tinted moisturizer while I was at the store, I was trying it on my hands. And you know how like some tinted moisturizers smell like suntan lotion? This one doesn't. Like when I was at the store, you know, like I want to make sure that everything is good. It's not like I'm sticking the bron the um, tinted moisturizer up to my nose. But I did not smell suntan lotion coming off of this. So I don't, like the suntan lotion smells good, but not all day, every day, every day. So that's what's really good about this. And the color's right there. So Studio Moisturizer's SPF 50, and I saw a lot of other um, people using this, um, like Beauty Guru. So I'm just going to put a dot on my hand, just so you guys can see. And it's very like a big, huge bottle. This was like um, $29, um, and it's a really big bottle. It should probably last me a long time, probably about like four months, three months, something like that. Maybe three months. Um, but I put too much on my hand just now. I just wasted it. <laughs> so it's right there. Yeah, it just smells. It doesn't smell like suntan lotion. It just kind of smells like a moisturizer. Well, uh, so I needed something to make my skin very moisturized. And this was moisturizing and tinting. So I got this. And um, I'm so super ecstatic to try it. Um, and I might do like a updated um, morning face every day, morning face routine or something like that. Tell me if you guys will enjoy me doing one of those videos or something like that because um, I think I might. I think that'd be good. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the third, th fourth thing that I got. Okay, so the kind of go together. Well, not really, but yeah. So I got another brush. Um, I got the 217. Ah, oh, I've been wanting to use this brush. Getting this brush for such a long time. It is a flat blending brush. So it looks exactly like a blending brush, but it's flat. Um, so look at that. Look at that tip. And then look at that. Like it's like blending. Like you blend it, but it's flat. So this is kind of like the MAC pencil brush. I don't know what number it is, but it's like the pencil brush by MAC. And it's white, and it's just kind of like the same thing, but this one's more of a blending. Um, and this is the MAC. This one's flat, and it's easier just to use one single brush. Like this you could probably use for everything and not for, like, so much. So I can't wait to try out this brush because, yeah. So it's going to probably work good for your, like, your eyes and blending and stuff like that. So I love, 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 love this brush. I have not tried it yet, but I love it by looking at it, if that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the lady also told me, she told me that I have to wash this brush every once a week. Um, so, and all the other brushes, the other brush that I was buying, two weeks. So if you have this brush at home, make sure that you wash it every once a week um, and she said either wash it with baby shampoo or the MAC cleanser that we have here so me wanting to have my brushes last longer I bought the MAC cleanser and it's right here and I think that it's just, just like a pinkish color and this is just the MAC brush cleanser the box got all bent I don't know why so yeah that's just, just like a pinkish color And that is what I got because I want all my MAC brushes to last longer. Um, and I don't want them to, like, I want to clean them right. So every time I wash this brush, I think I'm just going to wash all my other brushes. Because if I already have all the cleansing stuff out and stuff, I just might as well wash all of my brushes. So that is what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to wash my brushes every, um, once a week. And, um... Both of them, all of them, because if I'm washing this one, then I might as well just wash all of them. So that is what I'm going to do. And then she just threw in this paper, I guess. Cindy Lauper. Oh yeah, they came out with two different new lip glasses. One that's by Cindy Lauper, and then one's by um, Lady Gaga. So I was gonna get the Cindy Lauper one, but it's really, really bright. So I'll have to wait because I don't want to 
buy it and not wear it, you know? So that is what she put in there, I guess. And then that is all. That is my Mac haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this Mac haul. And I hope you guys, if you guys did a Mac haul or something, just post it as a video response um, or a Mac review on something because I might want to try it or something like that. But for now, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as I do. I'm so happy to put this video on. So I'm going to go edit this video and put it on today for you guys. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope that everyone has a great day. I'll